Ask it, Chris, and where things stand. Yeah, Go hit forward. the hit the RT on that, Rich. Uh, oh, okay. Who ends up the seventh seed in the AFC? It's hotly contested right now. Colts currently in there right now at eight and four. Raiders seven and five. Ravens seven and five. Patriots on their heels at six and six. All right, how does it go right now? And right now, so the Indy, that was Chris Carter's pick. Indy is at 36%. They lead the way. Ravens, people like what they're doing with Lamar back, 33%. Yeah, just... Raiders, 17%. Patriots, 14%. Let me just get this straight out right here. So, Dolphins currently are your, your six. Right. So let me just get this straight right here because I, I want to make sure I, I've got this all um, settled right here and I know everything off the top of my head. So um, my issue with the Ravens, here's my issue with the Ravens, and this is part of the reason why I, when we did, uh, we talk in playoffs or what last week that I said we are, it's or what for the Ravens. Baltimore does have a very favorable schedule from here on out with the exception of this weekend. They have Jacksonville and Cincinnati, and they also have the Giants, which is no longer as favorable anymore. So they can't split those games. I don't think 9-7 and seven makes it. Um, their problem is their four and five conference record. I mean, that's two games. That's a game and a half right now behind the Vegas Raiders conference record. Four and five is a terrible conference record. The Dolphins conference record is five and three. The Browns are six and three. The Colts are four and four. So they'd have the same record uh, as the, as the Ravens would in conference if they lose to the Vegas Raiders. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go down with this ship. I, I don't care. I'm gonna go down with the ship of the Raiders. I'm just gonna go down with them. They've looked terrible the last two weeks. They've looked terrible. Yeah. I know. I mean, they should have lost to the Jets. Let's be honest. Uh, I guess shoulda, coulda, but they didn't. I don't know, man. The Vegas Raiders, if they win this game this week, they're eight and five with a tiebreaker over the Colts in their back pocket. Okay. And they're eight and f- they would be six and three in conference. Which would be um, if the Tennessee Titans wind up um, staying in first place, which they would, then the Colts would be a pro- would be a problem for the Colts if they lose to the Raiders, and then they'd be better than the Ravens because they've got a better conference record. Even if the Ravens beat the Browns, let's just say the Dolphins lose to go eight and five, that would make them five and four in conference. That's a problem for the Ravens right now is their conference record. I am going to say the autumn wind is, in fact, a pirate. I heard that, Mike Del Tufo. You're inspiring me to, to stick with us and be have a little bit more conviction. Sorry. My problem is all those turnovers in Atlanta and the way they looked about the Jets. That, that, that You should not allow the Jets to score 15 unanswered on you. But it's back-to-back games in the Eastern time zone in early windows, which has been the Raiders' bugaboo. And it's Darren Waller pointed out when he was on the show yesterday, which is a, a nice little humble brag drop that we had one of the best tight ends in the game on our show yesterday. Three of their final four are at home. Next three in a row. The autumn wind is a seventh seed <laughs> in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.